At this point we've selected a particular uh, video clip and we've added some audio to it and uh, we've actually extracted that video ready to go to uh, to be used in other areas. One of the options that Timer Pro gives you is to use YouTube. So I'm going to set up a YouTube account to load up this particular video to it here. So I'm going to click on the YouTube icon here and it brings up the sign-on area here. Uh, you have to have a Gmail account to, to do this uh, and it says down here to obtain a YouTube application name and developer key click here. You're going to need this to be able to pass your videos from Timer Pro into YouTube so that anyone anywhere could see this particular piece of video. And remember, you can make it a private area, so not the whole world could be able to see it, just be an internal use here. So I'm going to click here, and it's going to bring up my Gmail account, and I'm going to sign on to that. And I click on sign in here. Again, it brings it up. At this point, you would complete the registration details, and check the I agree down here at the bottom uh, left here. And then you're going to click on the register. Now this will take you to the next screen where you can register your product and you're going to give it a name and a description here. The, uh, Google is going to require that from you and it's going to return back the developer key here. Here you can see I've completed the, uh, the information they're looking for, I've given it a name. You don't have to give it a website, this is our website here. And then I've just put a basic description of what it is. So it's a process to send videos from Timer Pro to YouTube for use by internal user base. Of course, you can restrict access to people within your organization here. And when I've done that here, I'm going to click on the Save button over here on the left. Okay. Now, clicking the Save button is going to populate the developer key down here that we're going to use uh, to make the connection between uh, your PC and, uh, and YouTube. And here you can see a portion of the developer key that was delivered back to me here for use in the, in the application. And from here, what we do is we're going to return back to the, uh, the Video Timer Pro screen here, which is down here. And we're going to enter the developer key in here. And we have to enter the application name, the exact same application name as we gave on the previous screen. So here you can see I've completed the screen. I've got the exactly the same application name. That's important. I give it my Gmail account, and I put in my password to the Gmail account. So this is my YouTube login now and I click on the OK. Uh, this presents you with all of the elements that you have in your uh, video timer process. You can see they're actually the same as what you have in the background here. right? And then what you have to set, you're going to take this option here, upload selected rows, but first you have to select the row. You come over to the very left column here, a little pointer will appear, you click on the one that you want to upload. Right? So we've highlighted the one that has our, uh, our recording and our um, and our extract on it here. Right? And then we're going to say upload selected rows here. Okay, and then you get the message that the selected records have been uploaded to YouTube. It may take a, a few seconds to um, to get it actually imported correctly into YouTube and get the advice. So click on the OK here. And you can see here it says it's processing it. And it's got a U already been assigned a YouTube ID. So normally you have to wait maybe 10 or 15 seconds and then you can say check upload status. And it's still waiting here. Give it a few more seconds. And now you check the upload status again and you can see that it's now been published. So the information is now been available on YouTube. Uh, you click on the uh, YouTube link here. And it's going to launch YouTube for you. And it's actually going to play it back. Notice we've also uh, put on the caption down at the bottom there. This is now running uh, from YouTube. Uh, so this way you, it allows you to upload to YouTube any number of videos. Now there are some parameters in YouTube you should be aware of. You can create a playlist here. And you can create up to uh, 1,000 playlists. And each playlist can have up to 200 videos in it. And each uh, playlist can be viewed by up to 50 people. So within one account here, you can create a, a tremendous library of uh, data available uh, for use within your organization in a secure area that only you and the people who are authorized can see it.